scheduling and orientation for them, which is the 16th. As I mentioned, we are already in communication with the managers and the owner of that company, Mr. Larry Ellis, who is cooperating with us quite fully in relation to providing information to assist with the transition. We're also working internally with the Belize City Council to ensure that we have our management operation in place to deal with them as they come on board. And we're also making sure that the workers themselves, through cooperation with their union, understand exactly what is happening, that there is no fear that anyone will lose their job, and that everyone knows that they will come on board, these 158 staff members come the 16th of January, and everyone knows what is expected of them. By way of the management uh, apparatus, what the City Council has determined to do is to actually divide our management capabilities into two. Uh, previously, we have had one sanitation department which comes under our city engineer. Since this is 158 workers, we will have to divide that management into two departments. Each of these sanitation units will deal with certain aspects of our sanitation services. For example, one of the departments will deal strictly with garbage collection and residential and household issues, whereas another unit will deal with cemetery services, parks, public health, and cleaning of the city. And we're doing that uh, specifically to ensure that we can deal with the day-to-day -day management of those persons. Beneath the managers, there will be a supervisory level and we're actually working with the sanitation contractor to ensure that the supervisor level is staffed by some of their personnel so that we will take on board their managers and supervisors who will bring in a second tier of management who will help us to organize and manage these 158 persons. And then beneath that, you have another level of um, supervisors. And then beneath that, you will have the direct uh, persons who will be on the ground. Some of these people who meet a certain skill set, for example, some of them are supervisors, some of them are security officers. Not all of them perform direct sanitation services. So what we will do is that we will reassign those persons who fit the skill set to other areas of the city council where we have a shortage. For example, right now we need city council people to be traffic officers. We need some persons to be park wardens. And we will use some of the people who we don't need directly on the ground to fill these posts with the city council.